Hello, my name is David Eichert, and I work with Paul Fishwick at UTD doing visual data representation research. Today I'm going to show you what Gary's Mod is and what you can do with it by building a simple differential. It's a sandbox game based around the idea of building, constructed on the Half-Life 2 Source Engine. Basically, to start off, I'm going to create a plate and a gear, then connect these two with an axis so that the gear is free to rotate. You can see that the gear rotates freely. Now I'm going to adjust the properties of both objects, adjusting the weight and removing the force of gravity. Now I'm going to take this completed side and duplicate it, making three more copies. That way I can construct the gear box. Now I'm going to use a tool that allows me to precisely position objects exactly where I want them. It's important in this case for the differential to be aligned correctly or it won't rotate properly. We're going to speed it up because this is a little repetitive. Basically all I'm doing is moving and shifting the plates, making sure they're in the right position, the gears are connecting, they're not too close to each other, they're far enough apart. Unfortunately, if you get them too close, the whole thing will just blow up and they just get mad at each other and they just don't want to work together. But if you get them too far apart, then there's too much slack and it doesn't connect very well. So it took me a little time to find the perfect balance of exactly where everything needs to be. Now you can see here that everything is positioned properly. Next we're going to work on putting all the constraints and connecting everything in the way that it should act. Again, this is a little repetitive, so I'm going to speed it up. And finally, we're going to have the completed differential, and I'm going to make a copy of it so that I don't mess with the original. And you finally get to see how it works. I'm going to unfreeze some of the plates and all the gears so that you can finally see how this thing works. So when you grab the bottom plate and rotate it, you can see that the inner gears move, and those would represent the left and right wheel. When you freeze the left or the right, um, you can see that the other wheel is free to rotate. So that gives you your differential. That's what a differential is. That's all it does.